Lately I've had a couple questions on crossovers. People are wondering, what are they? What do they do? Why do I need one? How do you set them up? Well, I'm no expert on audio, but I'm going to try to help you out and give you kind of an idea of what a crossover does for a DJ. We're going to talk about active crossovers. Passive crossovers are very different. I'll explain those two. So let's just listen to some music real quick. Okay, let's just spin this mystery white label. I don't even know what it is, but uh, let's pop it on real quick. I'm going to cut the bass. All you're hearing right now are mids and highs. I cut the bass out. Now, I'm going to cut the mid out. All we're hearing are the highs. Now I'm going to cut the highs out. You don't hear hardly anything at all. I'm going to bring the bass back in. That's only bass. I'm going to bring the mid in and cut the bass. Only mid. And again, only high. And there's everything together makes a big difference when you cut your mids and your highs. All you hear is like a thump. Now imagine that there was a piece of gear that separated the bass, the mid, and the high and shot it out to different amplifiers or different speakers. That's a crossover. We're going to talk about passive crossovers first so you kind of understand. And if you own a set of speakers, you already have a passive crossover. Let me show you. Yet another edition of Terrible DJ Tutor Style Diagram. Let's pretend that we can see right through our speaker cabinet here that has a woofer and a horn inside of it. If you could, you would see there's a separate wire uh, or set of speaker cables going to the horn and a separate set of speaker cables going to the woofer inside. There's a little circuit board in between these wires and your main lead-in wire. If we took a magnifying glass and we looked at this little thing, you would see lots of resistors and wires and squiggly things. If this is your speaker cable coming in, what this little thing does is it somehow figures out approximately what the high frequencies are and sends them out to the horn and approximately what the low frequencies are and sends them out to the woofer. This is a passive crossover. A lot of speakers have them. Most DJ speakers have them, and many home speakers have them. Now let's talk about active crossovers. The active crossover is going to go in between your mixer and your amplifiers. Now I say amplifiers plural because that's basically what's happening here. You need two amplifiers typically to make this happen. It's going to send all your low frequencies out to amp 1, and amp 1's going to pump your subs. So amp 1 is going to sound like this. And these subs are just going to make that boom sound. You're not going to hear anything else out of them. Now, the high frequencies are going to be sent out to amp number two, to the high and mid cabinets right here, or your top cabinets. And the sound you're going to get out of those are going to sound something like this. There's a little bit of bass there, but not a lot. That's mid bass. Here's a three way crossover. It does exactly that. It does the same thing as a two way, but it splits it three ways and splits it into three different signals going to three different amplifiers or sets of amplifiers. First, you're going to have your crossover sending out to amp one all of your sub sounds. So the sub's going to sound like this. And then your crossover is going to send out a signal to amp 2 to the mids, and the mids are going to sound like this. These woofers right here will produce this sound. There's a little bit of bass in there, but not a lot. They call it mid bass again. That's what these woofers are going to do. And then it's going to send your high frequencies out to amp 3 to horns. No woofers this time, only horns. And it's going to sound like this. So 
there's a quick little tutorial on crossovers, passive and active, and what they do. And I hope this video helped. Now, if you're thinking about getting into crossovers, please buy the crossover you need. If you want a two-way crossover, don't buy a three-way crossover. Keep it simple, stupid. There can be way too many bells and whistles on a three-way crossover. If you don't know what you're doing, you can blow your shit up. Trust me, I got a friend out there who blew stuff up last week and he's all pissed. And I told him, dude, go out and get a two-way crossover. So he returned his three-way. You know what? He bought another three-way. Uh, I can't help him. He's getting buzz sounds and uh, he's got all kinds of issues with it. I'm done with it. So please, buy the crossover or whatever piece of gear you need. Buy the one that fits your needs. Don't go overkill with it. Get exactly what you need. A little vid for you. Practice and enjoy.